Hi everyone, my name is Val. I work for the Information Lab and I build a lot of business dashboards. And in this series, I share what I wish I'd known sooner about Tableau. And today I'm going to show you how to dynamically limit the number of colors used in your charts, depending on how many items are shown. So for example, I have this dynamic line chart here where I'm allowing the users to decide how they'd like to split that line. They can split it by region, they can split it by category or subcategory or state. And while this works really nicely on the region and category level, the moment we choose subcategory, the chart becomes a little bit busy and on a state level, pretty much illegible. So what if instead we could set a limit on how many colors we will allow to appear in the view, uh, let's say no more than five, so that when we click to region, we have individual colors for each region. When we select category, we have one color per category. But when we go into the subcategory split, we are prompted to select a single subcategory that we'd like to highlight. Okay, so I can highlight bookcases, I can highlight binders, I can choose any one of those subcategories. I think this looks a lot cleaner and definitely a lot easier to interpret, so let me show you how we can achieve that. Okay, I'm going to start with a sheet that already has the dynamic line chart. So I have month of order date on columns, I have some cells on the rows, I'm only filtering to 2024 and I have breakdown dimension on data. That breakdown dimension is driven by my breakdown parameter. So as I switch through the different options, the line chart changes. The breakdown dimension calculation itself is just a simple case statement. If you've never done this before, feel free to download the workbook and have a look, but we're not going to be focusing on that today. Now, if I move breakdown dimension onto color, each individual member of that selected dimension will get its own separate color. So four colors for region, three colors for category. And like we saw earlier, this works great for those first two options, but it becomes a little bit harder to interpret when we're looking at subcategory or state. So I'm going to move dimension back to uh, breakdown dimension back to detail. And I'm going to create a calculated field where I will specify the logic for when the lines should or should not be colored. And actually, I'm going to split it into two separate calculations. So first, I'm going to name this first one number of items in dimension. And what I'm trying to achieve with this is for Tableau to calculate how many different options exist in that breakdown dimension field, or in other words, how many different lines will appear in the view. So this calculation is going to be a simple LOD in curly brackets. I'm going to type out count D of breakdown dimension. So across the whole data set, how many different items exist in that breakdown dimension. Okay, I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to bring this calculated field onto detail. And then just for the demonstration purposes, I'm going to add it into my title. Now, this tells me that when my parameter is set to state, I have 59 different states in my data set. If I switch to subcategory, I know that I have 17 subcategories in my data set, et cetera. So now I can use that number to specify when the lines need to be colored individually and when not. So the next calculated field I'm going to create is going to be called line color. And here I'm going to say if my number of items in dimension is less than or equal to five, then use individual breakdown dimensions like we were doing just a moment before. Else, if they're more than five, for now, I'm just going to type out single 
color as a string. End. So if I hit OK now and bring that to color, I'll see that while, when I'm on subcategory selection, all the lines are colored in a single color. Now, if I change to region, I'll have four individual colors, same with category, but no coloring on subcategory and state. Now, as a next step, I will want to enable my user to highlight one specific item of either subcategory or state when they are looking at those. And there's different ways I can achieve that, but I am going to be using sets in this scenario. So let me find my breakdown dimension. I'm going to right click on that and create a set. And for now, let me put California into that set. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to bring that breakdown dimension set field onto color. That instantly replaces my line color field that was on color before. Now I can see that the line for California is highlighted in blue and all the other lines are grayed out. So I can adjust these colors if I want to. And so now the final step is to combine the original line color calculation with the set logic that we're using here. So I'm going to go back into my line color calculated field. And I'm going to say that if number of items in the dimension is less than or equal to five, then keep it as breakdown dimension, else use my breakdown dimension set. And Tableau is going to complain because we have a mismatch of data types. This breakdown dimension is going to return a string. This, at the moment, the set will return a true or false Boolean value. So I'm just going to wrap it in a str function to convert it into a string. Now I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to bring line color onto color card once again. And there we go. Okay, so I need to change my false and true colors once again. So false is staying at light gray and true is becoming blue. But when I'm on the region or category parameter options, I'm still getting individual colors for each of those. If I click on subcategory, nothing is currently highlighted. Everything returns a false. So I'm going to find my set and I'm going to show the set so that I can select a subcategory in this case. Now you'll notice that both cases are highlighted in blue, but they are hiding behind all the gray lines. So I'm just going to switch these around in the color that changes. If I switch from both cases to copiers, the copies line will get highlighted. And essentially, this is everything. Uh, when we add this chart onto the dashboard, we can play around a bit more with formatting. I have also used dynamic zone visibility here to make sure that the second drop-down parameter only appears when it needs to appear. So you will we'll see that it doesn't appear for a regional category, but it does pop up for subcategory and state. And same with the legends. The legends will dynamically display based on which parameter options are selected. I'm not going to cover dynamic zone visibility in this tutorial, but feel free to download the workbook via the link in the description and see how I've achieved that. Thank you all for watching. I hope you found this useful and stay tuned for more.